I fear for the future of Facade. No matter how good his intentions with the king so young. The people will make up for whatever the king lacks. I imagine we'll come back to a whole new slew of rules. Probably. But rules seem to work for them, so who are we to say otherwise? Oh, come now. There are as many ways to view the world as there are people in it. Perhaps you have learned something on this journey after all. Maybe. What do you think, Kaine? Don't care. See? Nier really is an upright guy. He's quite sensitive in his way. Once again, you know, the big manly guy is sensitive, but the woman is thick-headed and not. She's like really, in a way, sort of a brute. Even though when you look at them, you'd think almost the opposite would be the case. Another mildly deconstructive element is the fact that characters note how bizarrely dressed Kaine is. It's not just taken for granted. But anyway, yeah, so Nier has all these particularly gamey side quests. Go get ten items, go deliver this item over there. You know, it's pretty, uh... It, it, and they point out how these are sort of petty tasks, how these sort of tedious things are almost like a little side job that he gets to try and get money. I always get a little startled when she teleports like that. Back home. Well, we probably shouldn't stand around. We need to go find Yona. Or not find her. We know exactly where she is, probably. Didn't write us any new letters. Actually, how are... Wow! Our crops are doing fine. See, he doesn't look like a farmer, but he is. Anyway, the, the point is, they also have characters point out how sort of petty and silly the side quests they get are, and... There's a lot of dialogue to, dedicated to, say, pointing out how bosses are poorly structured or have obvious weak points, and they sort of make fun of that. It's, I mean, I'm not sure where they're going with it, but... It's just a, it's a sort of an interesting thing, especially since all of this is put into what is clearly a very serious story. Hi there. Yona? Oh, hi, Dad. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Sometimes it still hurts, but that fish medicine you got helps a lot. Good. Um, Dad? Are you gonna stay here tonight? Sure. Yay! Dad's going to stay home tonight. Easy, Yona. You'll hurt something. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just happy I get to see you. It's late. You should go to bed. Okay. Night, Dad. It has been a while since Nier spent the night at home, hasn't it?
Whoa, that was a messed up dream. Never thought I'd be hunting sealed verses in there. Oh! Morning, Dad. Hey. What's wrong? You look all tired and you have these weird black circles under your eyes. It's nothing. I just... I had a strange dream and I didn't sleep very well. Oh, I have weird dreams all the time. I know. Actually, I had a totally weird dream last night. Did you now? There was a boy, and me, and we were playing this game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Word. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? Um, well, the boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out, so I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide-and-seek, but we had to play the, his dumb game instead. What did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But he said he'd be back, so I gotta study. Then I can figure out everything and win. You're gonna help me study, right, Dad? Yeah, sure. Huh. We're both having the same visions in our dreams. Wonder what that was she did dream about that first night and near didn't have time to listen. You appear lost in thought. This frightens me. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on. I need to go ask Popola something. Well, okay, let's go see Popola. Hey, Popola. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi, Nier. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream-ish shoe. What? Of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice, Dream, on the matter. Recently, there have been dream reports dr Yeah, you know, this is a, r a rather strange letter. I think you're right. It is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Yeah, it's strange, all right. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're a bright and talkative group of people. Something like this is very out of the character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Er, you will, but... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. First, though, I guess we better get back to that fellow in Seafront about his, you know... Dead... Lover. Yeah, I'll stop here first. Want to see if there's any more work. There sure is plenty. Well, this is obviously to be sent to the Forest of Myth. I've got a job from Facade, fresh off the grill. You certainly know a lot of people, don't you? You're a real mover and shaker, Nier. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Uh, okay. Uh... Well, no, no, never mind. Oh, there are even more! Nier is never going to be free. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. What quests are available now? Well, what quests are we in the middle of? I know there's that thing we have to do... Oh yeah, we need to um, get 10 watermelons. Is there somewhere we can buy them, or do we have to grow the watermelons? Just wanted to jump. You know, Nier, he has a pretty overdramatic way of moving sometimes. Uh, yeah, here we are. Hey. Why, yes, I am. Medicinal herbs. So many. I'll also take one of these. 
Uh, there we go. Perfect. Well, where do we go first? I guess to seafront. But then again... Yeah, to seafront. I mean, we all know what we're going to find in the Village of Myth. Not exactly what, but in, the point is it'll be some other kind of giant shade or something. Sorry, for a second I thought there was a, something over there. Who are you, sir? Hmm. Excuse me, but have you seen my son? I don't think so. Why, is something wrong? When I got home, I found a note from him that said he was leaving and not to look for him. What if he's left the village? Oh, if something happens to my little angel, I'll just die. Please, you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. My son shouldn't be too hard to spot. He wears a very odd hat. You can see it from a mile away. Sure. Okay. When I find him, I'll see if I can't convince him to come home. I mean, I really don't know where I might find him, but I'll keep an eye out for weird hats. Fine little town we have here, isn't it? Well, let's go run in Kaine. Run all the way back to see... You know, I guess she doesn't realize what Nira's running around these towns for. She probably thinks this whole time he's gathering intel about, say, locations of the sealed verses, when really, he's doing this kind of stuff. I sure hope your son didn't run over here. Anyway, we're not going to mess with that right now. Just like we're not going to go into that into that house up there right now. Whatever's in that house is a sealed verse, I mean, if we're being honest here. We've got Seaside, or Seafront, Seafront. I bet you that Seaside is what people who are from out of town accidentally call it all the time. It's one of the surest signs that you're not local. It's sort of like how there are little dialect differences that, say, let a New Yorker know you're from New York or not. It's that kind of deal. I'm talking about New York City, not the state. Wait, you're not the guy who's who's looking for. That guy was... Oh, there he is. Now, oh, which one is it? Oh, well, I think we found the missing son, but... Sup? So, uh, did you should get the letter? I'm sorry, but the home was empty. On our way back, we were attacked by a shade that dropped this. It's, uh... It's a Phrygia. So, you think... No. She's alive, I know it. And I'm going to keep living my life for her. You are. I'll stay here and keep the business going. After all, she could come back any time. Gotta keep faith, huh? Well, it's like those people following the rules in, in Facade. Whatever works for them. Yo. Hey, you the kid that ran away from home? Huh? Oh man, how'd you... I don't know why you left, but I think you should go back. Your family's sick with worry. No way. They want me to, like, take up the family business. And I ain't doing it, man. I'm a rebel. Yes, we can see that. Well, perhaps you should let your family know that you're alive and well, and also explain to them why you left. Ah, man. People always gotta hassle me. Yeah, alright, I'll do it. But first, you gotta do something for me, man. Here's this guy who's been helping me since I got here. Man who runs a tavern. Anyway, I wanna give him something nice. I was thinking I could, like, cook dinner or something, but I don't have any ingredients or whatever, so, yeah. Oh, for hell's sake. Fine. What do you need? This guy, man, he don't eat nothing but fish. All the time, every day. Fish, fish, fish. So... I was thinking he might, like, want to try eating meat or whatever. So could you get me, like, five pieces of mutton, three pieces of goat meat? I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to this place whenever, man. Uh, but you see, I see Nier's reaction of that being like, I can't believe this guy's demanding this from me. Sure. That's the sort of deconstructive element. Oh. I figured that that lighthouse lady's wrath quest was for the postman in there. Well then, who is it for? I don't know. But anyway, that guy said he'd pay us whatever we ask for, so... 
we get a quite a lot from this. Now, the question of will we get quite a lot is another matter altogether. I know there are a few people who've asked Nier to catch a bunch of sardines, but eh, I'm in no rush to go catch a bunch of sardines. Call me crazy. Hey, those kids, I oh, know those kids are still here. They come out here every day to execute this bizarre ritual of theirs. Wonder what the ritual is. As far as I can tell, it involves maybe the... They were playing some kind of game, right? So they probably play that game and sort of wander around the beach, just following no set pattern. Or maybe it is actually a rather intricate pattern. Say, it is a pattern that only repeats once every few hours. Hey, you want something? Hey! Hey, you gotta help me out here, you just gotta. I'm having serious girl trouble. Nier's reputation as a guy who just does what people ask has spread far and wide, hasn't it? See, there's this girl that I'm pretty wild for, so I asked her out, but she won't even consider it unless I take her to a really nice restaurant. That seems rather selfish of her. No, no, it's not like that. She's just a girl who appreciates the finer things in life. First class all the way, right? You know the type. Oh, I know the type. Well, what do I have to do for you? You didn't specify. Um... Vice! What do you think I need to do? Because this is bizarre! Or not? Never mind. Okay, and so far... I have no uncompletable side quest. It's going to change once I don't catch all these sardines, but you know. Hey, Lighthouse Lady, word has got all the way to my village that you needed some kind of help. Something about wrath or something or other? I don't know. You like the Old Testament God who's all the time just being wrathful and murdering thousands and thousands of people? She's not. Yeah, well, never mind. That's what I get for making assumptions, I suppose. But where might the person who has some issue with her be? Well, I mean, everyone has some kind of issue with her, but this is a very particular case we're talking about right now. Really, it'd probably be harder to press to find someone in this town who hadn't heard of her fearsome reputation. Even though it's a pretty big town. I mean, this is definitely the biggest... Well, I don't know. Fassad is a huge city, too. It even has a stylish name like Fassad. Well, alright. Um, where's that woman who sells fruit? There she is. Watermelons fresh from somewhere. Maybe China? Or not. Hold on, where can we get... Where can we get watermelon? And there's Kaine, who, you know, this strange swordswoman who goes around half-naked in her underwear, getting into vicious, bloody fights with deer for no reason, impulsive, hard-headed, has a real fondness for the word asshole. Oh, hey, look! That shade isn't here. Or... Er, it's not the same shade, we killed one of them, so there's no shade here. We finally have a nice, clear view, unsullied by any fierce monsters. That's always nice, right? You better believe it is. Jeez, another step and we would have fallen down. Eh, Kaine doesn't care about the view. She just turns her back like, yeah, who cares? Let's go near. Well, you just keep doing your thing, Kaine. Which is, I guess, pacing around. Hold on, we need uh, some meat for that guy with the hat. So, what all meat do we still need to get? Okay, we have enough goat meat, we just need to go kill some sheep. Fine. We've only completed 25% of those quests, huh? 
Wonder how uh, Vice knows that that's how many there are. Beats me. You know, I actually had a uh, bit of, of a, a bit of an epiphany as regards Vice, Vice and Noir. That scene from a millennia, a millennium ago. The near in that scene was not picking up Grimoire Vice. I think that what he was picking up was Grimoire Noir. Oh, he had some guards, I think. Hmm. Between you and me, work in security in the shopping district is mind-numbingly dull compared to work in the gates. Still, beats worrying about shades, I guess. You can never really be free from worrying about shades if you're keeping track of current events, though. Hello. Leaving the village? Be careful. You know it. It's not fair. She's so young. Her whole life is ahead of her. Yeah, yeah. Nier is well aware about leaving the village. He leaves the village many times every day. He spends most of his time outside of this village. You don't need to warn him how dangerous it is, okay? Surprised no one else is fishing here trying to get some food, you know. Okay, Nier, quit, like, looking at your fishless line like an idiot afterwards. You don't need to do that. You know you don't have a fish. Oh. Forget it. We went fishing two times and caught a fish twice. That's enough for your whole life. You never need to do it again. Fishing is almost as a terrible of an activity as camping. Anyway, um, sorry for bothering you, chicken. Well, let's uh, do some harvesting. That one tulip right there looks kind of out of place in our field of food, doesn't it? All right, now here we go. We can get a few. It looks like we have at least three watermelons. Yeah, we have three watermelons, but I think we only got one. That's silly. Now, the beans are a little more reasonable, but I would still expect you'd get more from that plant and wouldn't, you know, cut it down as soon as they were harvested. I wonder what happens if we leave this rice standing here for a longer time. I don't know, and I'm going to try see what happens if I do. Yeah, we need to buy some more seeds. Well, we'll do that later. Oh. Dear Dad, today was really awesome. Hopla made me this huge cake that was really yummy, and everyone in the village has been wishing me happy birthday. It's fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick at all today. In fact, I almost forgot I had this disease, so maybe you can forget about it too and come back home now. No, Yona. Just because you feel like you don't have it doesn't mean that you don't. Doesn't mean you can just we can just go go forget about it. I wish it were that simple, Yona. Oh, what do you want? Hey there! Hey, I heard that you can get into Vassad, right? Well, I got a thank you gift I need delivered over there, so I'm hoping you can help me out. No. No, I know how this is gonna go, guard. I think, aren't you the guy with that thank you gift you wanted to, to, me to send to the airy? Yeah. I learned my lesson. Thank you very much. And you don't need to send me some delicate trinket to thank me, by the way. You know I'm gonna deliver it, but not yet. Yeah, see, this is that sort of gamey task that I was, you know, talking about. And all of the side quests are this sort of thing, and they are all have characters pointing out that they are this sort of thing. Particularly early on. Like, the fact that they, you know, that Nier feels a need to um, point this out to Vice to, like, justify himself. I mean, that's unusual. I'm not sure I've ever seen that in a video game before. So they're using a very typical video game framework to do some rather strange things. They play with the typical formulas in all kinds of clever ways, and the sum total of all these minor, or seemingly minor, alterations is that they end up, uh, how do I put this? They end up amounting into something more than a bunch of minor alterations. They end up amounting to a rather strange new experience. Hey, 
Oh, no, there's not a horde of shades down here. Nice change of pace. Though there still is a shade down here. And Kaine teleported in just to kill it. In any case... Hey, you know what I said about not leaving any shades? I wasn't kidding. Yeah, this weapon strikes me as a lot stronger, actually, than that weapon I was using before that had the higher attack stat. How weird. Well, maybe it's magic or something. In any case, it's a gift. Hey, you coming, Kaine? She's probably just gonna teleport to the top of the bridge. Just to, just to mock Nier, just be like, hey, Nier, you can't do this, can you? That's because you're not as proficient with magic as me. And Nier will say, okay. Well, actually, it sounds like she's following us. You coming, Kaine? Ah, uh, whatever. Ah! Kaine, don't startle me like that. I just jumped over you, Kaine. Don't look up my skirt. I'd find that offensive. Now, you wouldn't find that offensive. You, you saved everyone the trouble by basically making your skirt already so that... Like, by looking at you, they're already looking up your skirt. You know what I mean. I mean, I think you do. I do, do. Do you? Do I know what I mean? What's anything in this mad world of ours? Well, Kaine, this is a place called a Scrappy. If you've been around here long enough, I figure you've probably heard of it. But, uh, if you haven't, then that's that. Wonder what these young men would think of that. Well, she's not gonna come in, so. Here we go. No, we can. You can actually reforge this. Good. What do we need? Things of which I have plenty. I mean, I'm not sure what a twisted ring is, but I'll take it. Hey, you know that ring does not look substantially twisted, and it still looks like the Quake logo. Thank you. I have a feeling that the weapon's lightness has to do with its uh, swinging speed. Kaine? Oh, there it's Kaine. Well, Kaine. I'm gonna show you to the scrap heap. It'll be a great time. Well, you you'll be like, wow, this is a great place in here. I want to hang out here all day killing robots. And I'll say, why? Actually, do you know, I've got to be honest. I don't feel like this. We already got the weapon forged. We don't need to bother going in there again. Why is... Is Yona always being like, I, I feel fine, I'm, I'm not sick. Well, it's because she doesn't want Nira to worry, but... Maybe there's something to what she's saying. I mean, it could be, because it's possible. I wouldn't discount the possibility. Well, now what? Are we going to go to Fossad? No, we don't have the watermelons. Going to Fossad without watermelons? What folly would that be? It'd be some pretty big folly. That's f for sure. What if they have watermelons in Fossad, though? Oh, geez, I don't know, man. What should I do? Well... Um, I guess I could at least go head back and bring that stuff to the kid with the weird hat. The weird hat man. Hey, did you know that the original story of Little Red Riding Hood, she, or at least in one of the early versions, she actually has a little red cap and instead of a red hood, and she's called Little Red Cap. Now you do. Nah, I don't need to buy a new weapon. This thing on this the, the quake symbol. I should I shouldn't call it that. What's it called? The Moonrise or something? It's a, a sacred. It's, you know, it's it's of, of much cultural significance to the people of Fossad. I shouldn't be mocking it by calling it some other silly name. I'm so glad Popla is nice to you, nice to her. You know, they're being taken care of even when we're not there. Yeah, that shade over there is tall. You know, you gotta learn to pick your battles. Well, now it's been knocked unconscious. Hey, Spider. Are you still just hanging out here? It just hangs out here. It's not even aggressive. I like that. 
Not sure why this particular one of all of them is non-aggressive, though. Oh! I guess it's dead now, anyway. Huh. That's something I never even occurred to me to ask for. Well, there are giant spiders now, either because of shades messing with spiders or because of some kind of genetic modification of spiders. Now, as for why scientists would ever possibly have a reason to make giant spiders, I can't think of any. Maybe is some kind of reckless weapons research by some military regime? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, Yona. I know, Yona. Don't worry, once all this is over, your dad will be able to spend so much time with you and it'll be great. It'll be great, don't worry, Yona. It'll, everything will work out and you'll be thinking, man, that's so good the way things have worked out. I'm glad that the, the dad is spending all this time with me now. That's what, she, she'll say exact, exactly those words. Well, howdy man, little red cap. Hey. I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to this place whenever, man. I have it? I, I mean, I thought I had it. I thought Nier said that I had it. Don't I? No, not this one. Oh, I have to bring it to that tavern keeper. For some reason. I mean, I know it's for the tavern keeper's husband, but... I thought that Little Red... I mean, Little Red Cap there told me to bring it back to him like just there. Him well, whatever. Yo. Hey, you the guy that's taking care of that runaway? Runaway? What are you talking about? It seems we've been bamboozled. God damn it. When I find that stupid kid... Well, uh, guess we can tell his parents he's alive, at least. Hey, little red cap, little red cap, I want to have a word with you. It's not like we can keep it hidden forever. Okay, let me tell you something about Nier. Let me tell you something about him. Okay, he's not your toy. He's not here for you to just take advantage of. He, well, I mean, I guess as long as you pay him, he'll do just about anything. Especially if it involves finding stuff, he's very good at... Uh, He's gone. That little brat. Well, yeah, he's alive anyway. Not for long, though, if he keeps up this kind of... this kind of charade. I guess today must be the 30th of January. But how could that be? That would mean that it's been a full year, because this was going on in April. So that must have been from a while before this. Even before all this was going on, Nier always was out of town killing animals and stuff to, you know, to support Yona. Wait, where's that guy? Oh yeah, so about your, um, son. It's, you're not gonna be the happiest camper to hear this, but he is alive. Yo. Your son come back yet? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, my poor little angel, where could he be? He's in Seafront. Well, he was, until he ran away again. Oh dear, did he tell you an elaborate story and then ask for help? My little angel is a bit of a... Well, he's a dirty liar. I probably should have mentioned that. Little bastard sent us on a wild goose chase and then gave us the slip. Since I cannot imagine you letting this go, perhaps we should return to Seafront. There may still be a lead or two left to pursue. I'm gonna put that kid in a headlock and drag him all the way back home. <sighs> What's wrong? How can a son bring so much despair to his parents? He seems completely ignorant of the pain he has brought them. It's deplorable. I love it when you sound like a grumpy old man, Vice. Perhaps I only sound that way because I have existed since time immemorial. How old are you, anyway? Hmm. You know, I'm not exactly sure. They say memory loss is a sure sign of old age. That poor family. 
Yeah, well, you know, Vice. You were probably created the same time as the Grimoire Noir. Which seems to have a lot of the same attacks as you do, and I bet you that whoever has that book is going to have a lot of the same attacks that Nier has. They probably already have the sealed verses, because for them, those verses weren't sealed at all. Well, now where? Um... Facade Forest of Myth. Facade Forest of Myth. Facade. Come to think of it, I guess I should probably make your delivery, huh? Hey there! Yeah, I can. Wait, hold on, how do you know somebody there who you owe, but you can't get into the city? Surely they're your buddy or something. No, oh, whatever. No problem. That's great! Oh, and it's kind of fragile, so don't jump around or get knocked over on the way, alright? Just get that to the weapon shop in Facade. And thanks again. I tell you what, Nier, the things you do for money are really not disgraceful. They're perfectly respectable work. You want to try your hand at this job, Kaine? Are you serious? Hell no. <sighs> Hussies are only good for breaking things anyway. Maybe I'll start with you. Oh, you guys, always witty. Kaine always teleporting. What a gal. I've not known a single woman in my life who teleports. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kaine, you've, you've noticed this quirk of Nier's by now. I mean, you're pretty quirky too. Like, you both probably have some kind of mental disorders of some kind. But, uh, maybe a few. But hey, nobody's perfect. Dealing with wolves? I think not. I think not. Of course, the wolves are working for a shade, but we'll kill that shade later on. Hey, I didn't notice that structure right there. No, we have to get to the city. Okay, we'll look at the strange structures around here after we get to the city. Nope, nope, nope. Near, you are... You can outrun a wolf near. I mean, maybe? In any case, I understand why that guard wouldn't want to make this delivery himself. The reasons are obvious and innumerable. Hey guys, got anything you wanted to say? No? Okay. I would jump up there to talk to them, but, you know, that might damage the artifact. Or it's not an artifact, it's just some random trinket. If I, if I call it an artifact, it sounds like it's something that actually matters. You might be thinking, hey, mackerel phones, isn't a lot of this just sort of running between cities? Why, yes it is. That is absolutely right. And you know what? I just want to give you the full experience. So that's why we're running from between these cities together, okay? While we're here, we can see if we can buy any watermelons in town. I figure we can, but I don't know. Mir has a pretty formidable reputation, I think, as a guy who finds stuff. Yo. I've got a parcel for you. For me? Oh, it's a thank you gift from the traveler that visited earlier. What beautiful glassware. Thank you so much for bringing it all the way here. Alright, I suppose I should report back to the client. Yep. Oh, you want something? <gasps> hey, you! I need you to get my idiot son back here, pronto! You always start conversations like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just so angry and worried right now. Please forgive me. You see, my son has gone into the desert by himself. He's trying to build a name for himself so he can become a true man of the mask, or what you outsiders call a soldier. He must be a reckless child indeed to venture into the desert alone. I need someone to bring him back before he hurts himself. Could you please help me out? Sure. 
I mean, this wouldn't be the first sun I've tried to find, but this one will probably be a little less of a disaster. I'll take care of it. Oh, thank you so much. Huh? Uh, so that's that. Well, hey, Sandskiff man. I was wondering if I go to the grocery store. You see, I'm in need of ten watermelons. No more and no less. Also, I realized earlier, I was wrong to say they're in Central Asia, because they can't be. They're in some place where the sun isn't setting, which means that they're probably in the Arctic Circle. And it, it does make sense. The Arctic is clearly going to be impacted the fastest and probably the most dramatically by climate change, so it would make sense that it would be a lot warmer there. Especially since none of the places we've been, even this desert, really feel like they're that hot. You know? Even this desert feels pretty cold. Yeah. yeah, this is a pretty good selection, I have to say. Now, I know this is a lot, but it'll pay off, trust me. See, where was that woman who needed the watermelons? Up by the palace, I believe. Yeah. Oh, also, there was that guy who hired us for some job. Where was he? He was out there on the walls, right? Right. Well, let's go out there and meet him. Well, I mean, everything's on a wall, but I mean, on this particular narrow walkway, leading to what I assume is some kind of watchtower. Yeah. Oh, you're near, aren't you? Yeah, I heard you needed something. What's up? Rule 56,908 says that in order to strengthen community solidarity, we must interact with others on a regular basis. You've been spending a lot of time in our city lately. It might be nice to have you join in. What do I need to do? First, I will tell you who to speak to and what to say. Once you deliver the message, you will receive another message that must be delivered. You must do this five times. If you make a mistake, you must start over from the beginning. The recipient knows what message you'll have, so don't try to cheat your way out of the obligation. I fail to see the point of any of this. I know it may seem odd, but it is a rule, and we must follow it, so... Came this far. Well, if it's a rule, I suppose we don't have a choice. Thank you. Here is the first message. The recipient is the person guarding the left side of the exit. The message is, the masked people respect their rules. Well, that should be easy enough to remember. Right? Right? Maybe? Could be? It's possible? Whatever. So left to the left of the exit. This is one strange game. This is one strange city. You got me there. Ah, speaking of which. What? I trust you have not forgotten the message. No. What kind of guy you think Nier is, huh? Because if you think he's the kind of guy who'd forget that message, you are completely correct. He's a good memory for certain kinds of things, but not that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. It's so strange, but at the same time, I feel like this is kind of believable as a society. Anyway, the guy left of the exit. So, why this one right here? Hey, are you the first recipient? I am. Your message, please. Correct. Rules are the most precious thing we have. Now for your next message. The recipient is the king's right-hand man. The message is, the men of the mask work for the king. Um... I suppose the men of the mask are the soldiers, right? Right. And they do work for the king, you can't argue with that. Well, we need to go to the palace anyway, that's where the watermelon lady is. You want to talk, Kaine? Of course not. Why, what else, why, why should I expect her to? Well, I mean, I shouldn't. Well, I should expect her to because it's a thing that people often do, is conversation. But I don't expect Kaine to. That's just the sort of woman she is. And that's okay. It's okay if you're kind of introverted or don't want to talk to people. It takes all types, as they say. Now, if you want to hurt people, well, we have to have... We have to draw a line somewhere. And that's where we draw the line on that one. Now, if you want to hurt shades, on the other hand, 
you're welcome in Nier's company. Nier? By the end of all this, you're going to have some real stories to tell Yona. Great stories about all the crazy places you've been to. Admittedly, this is just about the most insular and bizarre society I've ever heard of. I'm trying to think of any other one I've ever heard of that was quite as whacked out as this. I mean, there's some pretty weird societies around, but I've never seen one li quite like this. The King's right-hand man. Oh, can we get into the palace now? Why, yes we can. Huh. Yeah, this is about what I would expect. Maybe some more tapestries on the wall. Where's the... Oh, we just walked in the royal bedroom. That's kind of embarrassing. Is the king out here? I need his right-hand man, who I assume is standing at his right. Oh, it's probably this guy. What is it? In exchange for protecting the king, I shall grant you full usage of the sandspout well. You'll do what now? Have you noticed the stone structures in the desert? Uh, yeah, I saw something like that. Those structures allow you to speed to your destination by means of underground sand flows. The system is normally reserved for royalty, but I shall grant you special usage privileges. Is this another rule? No, it is simply the will of our king. Oh, well, in that case, I'm happy to accept. Oh, well, that's good. Um, but where's the king's right-hand man? Whoa, whoa, wow, you know, for- whoa! Yeah, from up here, you have a great view of the city. Just look at it. Why is it that the king still isn't wearing his mask, though? I mean, they think of that as being naked, don't they? Hey, you come back! Oh, here, watch this! You sure you should be tossing the royal mask around like that? I'm not tossing it around! I'm spinning it! And this is serious business! My liege, the mask was not meant to be spun in such a manner! Oh dear. I suppose one cannot expect a man to change his ways overnight. Even a king. Especially a king, Vice. But where's his, where's his right-hand man? Where is he? Wait a minute, we're on the sort of outer walls of this place, aren't we? Yeah, there's nobody around down here because they're all down there. Wow. Anyway, it's good to know that we can have the pleasure of being sucked through quicksand underground. I'm sure that that's just a great time. But he said to bring to the king's right-hand man, didn't he? I was close near. I, I'm not really sure what you were doing there, but in any case, we saw the king's right-hand man, and that was not the guy. They must mean the fellow to the right of the gate. Still, it was a good thing that I stopped by, and you know, they, they told me to, they asked me to, and I'm glad that I was able to. Truthfully, I'm surprised there is this little security in the king's palace, but then again, it's probably because he, you know... No, he can't go through these doors. It's probably because near, they... Oh, rather a lot. Here yeah. It was nothing, really. We owe you a great debt. We would be nothing without him to guide us. By the way, do you happen to possess a royal compass? What is that? It allows you to traverse sandstorms without losing your way. It's one of our most handy tools. Please, feel free to take it. You sure? Of course! The masked people always repay their debts. Then we would be honored to receive it. Wow, there's a lot of useful stuff these guys had. Are you the second recipient? I am. Let me hear your message. What is the king's left hand man? Anyway, what was it? Uh, this one. Correct. The men of the mask would give all in service of their king. Here is your next message. The recipient is the person taking care of the children. The message is, child care can be difficult. 
Um, I mean, it, it can. This is a very strange ritual you guys practice, but it's not even this. Oh, wait, are you the woman with the uh, watermelons? Hey. Are these watermelons what you were looking for? Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Good. I hope your daughter enjoys the treat. I'm sure this will make her very happy. I know it isn't much, but please, take this small reward. No, oh, that's not a small reward for a man like Nier. I, mean, I understand better than anyone else what it's like, you know, wanting to help your daughter. Yeah. Fascinating. Anyway, um... That, uh, teacher. We were just- we just talked to that teacher last time we were in town, so... It's fine, we just need to find him again. I remember that she was up here... Or not up here, but she was at a higher level... And was near a very dangerous spot full of quicksand. Yeah, here that is. You know... You don't teach. It doesn't seem like a good idea to be hanging out here with a bunch of kids, but they know not to kill themselves. Even if children do drown every year. Hey. Are you the third recipient? Yes, I am. May I hear your message? Yes, one. Correct. Now I will give you the next message. The recipient is the Southeastern Guardian. The message is, only nobility may enter the treasury. Yeah, these are... These people and the messages are becoming more esoteric. Well, Nier, you just need to repeat this message in your head over and over. Only nobility may enter the treasury. Only the nobility may enter the treasure. Wait, where was it? Do you know where it was? <sighs> yes, the southeastern guardian. Well, let's see. So, southeast. So, back to the gate, I guess. You're one brave guy, Nier. He's also so muscular that he can jump off of thin air. That's what, I mean, what else is a double jump if not jumping off of air as if it's a solid body upon which you can, you know, you can jump off of, uh, off of which you can jump. Okay, so southeastern, that's one of you guys, right? No? Well, who else is the southeastern guardian? Wait, I am... No, I'm not on the south side at all! Oh, I see. The exit of this place is on the west side. Well, so this way is south. Yes. Okay, well, no wonder we didn't find who we were looking for. It would have been interesting, though, if it had turned out we were going to go, uh, talk to the other one of those gate guards. I suppose this is some sort of community bonding ritual. And that's fine. I mean, that's harmless enough. In fact, it's even a positive thing. I think that, uh, you know, even if you have to force people to sort of have some kind of relationship with each other, it's important to have relationships with each other. At least, you know, even if it's something that is, that is forced, that is obligatory. We are nowhere near that area yet. This city is so huge. Research. Ah, more women talking. Yeah, they just buy whatever they can, don't they? Okay, here we are. I think? They said the Eastern Guardian, and this is the east side of town. Who is the Eastern Guardian? Oh, is it the Ferryman? You? No. Well, who is it? It's not you. Oh, well, you can vote to change the rules now. That person is in quite a predicament, though. Is it... Well, who else? Who could we... Who do we need to deliver this message to? It is neither of them. So... To whom? To whom, I ask you? Uh, well, 
Well, they said southeastern. Now we're northeastern. Oh, I wait, I'm, wait a minute, southeastern. I was thinking I'd go to the eastern area and look at the southernmost person, but really they mean in the southeastern corner of Facade. My bad. Okay, it's all coming together now. Wait a minute. So it's like right here, right? Yeah, it's like right here. Who, who are we talking to right here? There's nobody right here. And you're just tripped. Well, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to go onto the roofs and just go to the guard who's presumably positioned on the outer wall at that point. I mean, what, do you have a better idea? I certainly don't. Near. You'd think, look at him, he's the kind of guy you'd expect to be out murdering shades all day. And he does do that, but mostly he does this kind of stuff. Hello, your highness. Bye, your highness. So let's see. We are at the northeastern corner. We need to get to the southeastern corner where hopefully we will find the answer to this mystery and maybe the meaning of life. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Sounds like a plan. But there's no one here either. Well, of course, because we went totally the wrong way. That would explain why there's not a person here whom we're looking for. The person we're looking for would presumably be in the place where they are at, and not here. It is rather surreal, though, to see the walls of the city like this totally, well, no one around. It's just, at this point, I'm used to seeing people everywhere in this city. Wait, what? I have to go all the way around? Okay. Sure, I can do that. Uh... Or not. Well, okay, fine. Well, we're gonna do what I have to do, and that's go all the way around, so... Yeah, let's go all the way around. Because Nier just can't climb over the wall in a straightforward manner. Lord forbid that he do that. Well... Lord... I guess. I mean, they're like... Polytheists, right? Because they always say, Oh, gods! I suppose that that sort of thing really caught on after cyberpunk bartending action. Valhalla. Well, truthfully, they can't be in the same continuity, and I'm glad. I, I don't want to think that all those people's lives ended up being for naught, you know? Although they did. Everybody's lives are is for naught. Wait, there are people up here. Did you run into any wolves out crossing the desert? They're demons, they are. And they are a pox upon the desert. The largest of the wolves is black as night. Apparently, he acts as the pack leader. Okay. Nowhere near where I want to get to yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're back on the normal level. This city is dense. It is dense as... I don't know, it's some really dense thing. Could be anything. Oh, I see, it's the guardian for the king's palace. Hey. Are you the fourth recipient? I am. Give me your message. Only nobility may enter the treasury. Right. The treasury houses the most precious objects of our people, and none but royalty has the right to touch them. Now your final message. The recipient is the long-winded person. The message is... Quicksand. Th these are getting so esoteric. Who the heck is the long-winded person? I'm trying to think. If we met somebody who just never shuts up, we might have? I'm really not sure. At least the message is pretty simple. But who in the world is a long-winded person? Man, I... This... We're on the bottom tier, aren't we? I don't think we've ever been down this low before.
Well, I'll see you around, Southeastern Guardian. Now, who in the world is the long-winded person? Oh, wait, is it Fira? I, I mean, I suppose that Fira does go on at length about things. She certainly can. But I don't like calling her long-winded. That I mean, I guess she is. This is sort of offensive, though, and I really kind of like her. I mean, heck, I like this whole city. The folks here are good folks, even if they have some weird qualities. But where could Fira be? I really have no clue whatsoever. I don't even know whether she's high or low class, so I don't even know what tier to begin searching for her on. Well, I guess it's just time to sweep the city, top to bottom. Yep, top to bottom, sweep the city. It's like, um... Really, where is Fira? She could be anywhere. Is she down here? You wouldn't happen to have seen Fira around, would you? Oh, this is the treasury. I didn't realize. That's a pretty early rule, Rule 12, isn't it? Surprised though that the treasury is this sort of low tier here. Anyway, the message is quicksand, which is easy enough to remember, but where would Fira be? Have I seen her somewhere and I just don't realize it? It's very possible. Anyway, I think it's bizarre that, <laughs> that this guy called near to do this job from so far away just so near could come here and be like, hi guys. Fira? No, that's not Fira. But where is Fira? Oh, is that? Wait, that's not Fira. Who the heck are you? Hey, are you the fifth recipient? Why, yes, I am the fifth and final recipient. How fabulous that you've made it this far. Why, I'm astounded. Now state your message. Correct. Amazing, my friend. It is true that Quicksand shares a deep, intense relation with the message you have just given me. Why, once I remember when I was on vacation and got caught in Quicksand. She is long-winded. He certainly enjoys listening to himself. Oh, it's a man. Diddy. You passed your messages to five people. Now those of our city know a great deal more about you. Here is your reward for completing the task. Well, I'm glad that someone got something out of this. This town is beyond my comprehension. We're rich. We're stinking filthy rich! Wait, is that Fira? I think that's Fira! I wanna go say hi! How do we get down there? Um. Well, I'll figure something out. I always do. That's the near way. Charge in without quite being sure what needs to be done, but figuring out some way to do it anyway. Normally, by cutting up lots of shades. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's not Fira. You're just some other kid. I was out on an errand, but I broke rule seven hundred, seven thousand seventeen on the way. Oh, you're that kid whose parent I meant earlier, whose mother I should say. Well, what can you? What can you do? Hey, Kaine. There's somebody's kid lost in the desert. We gotta go find him. Okay. Nier wouldn't say okay. Well, he might say okay, I don't know. The thing you gotta keep in mind is that none of them are actually speaking English. They're speaking some strange language that doesn't exist yet, but it's in English for our convenience. It's been translated. The art of a translator is a difficult and often thankless one. Now where could that kid be? We really don't know anything about him other than that he's probably out here somewhere. Well, we can go check out that strange structure over here that I didn't notice before. Of course, this is a sand fountain, 
But I mean this thing. Like, what's this? What manner of place is this? Looks like a graveyard. The headstones seem to be lacking names. Also, why do they shine as if they were carved from the rock just yesterday? I suppose this is a cemetery. I guess that the people of Fossad take good good care of their cemetery here. That's good, you know? I'm glad that they are respectful of the dead that way. Granted, they strike me as the kind of culture who would really venerate ancestors quite a lot. Wow. This sand is just pouring down all over the place. You know, it's, it kind of sucks. Now that I'm actually out here, eager and looking for, you know, somebody, I don't find them. In fact, I'm out here now ready and willing to try and fight wolves if they attack. But there are no wolves attacking. Anyway, I noticed that we just walked by something over there. Yeah, these stairs. What's up with that? Just go somewhere? Well, I mean, obviously it does. Hold on. You guys have a boat moored in sand? Really? In sand? In quicksand? Oh, I see. It's water that's just rich in sediment. Or maybe I shouldn't say rich in sediment. It's full of sediment. Don't mind me, kind of. I'm just going to fish for a moment. I do this all the time. Don't worry. Going to get pulled down? No. 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 Well, you know, Nier has always been more of a hunter than a fisherman anyway. I, I guess we could say that he has been, always been the type who hunts for things other than fish. It's strange. I could have, we were being swarmed by wolves on the way here, but I haven't seen a single one. Oh, it's a scorpion. Yeah, thanks, Kaine. I appreciate it, Kaine. Now, near is poison, and you don't even care, do you? Ah, fine, I'll use one of my antidotal weeds. Never really thought about how dangerous scorpions were, but of course they are, I mean, they're venomous. Well, Nier, you want to try this thing out? Kaine, I have a bad feeling about... Oh, you're poisoned, Kaine? You want to come in some help? Nah, she doesn't. She's fine being poisoned. I mean, I think... Oh, I see how this works. I don't know. This strikes me as a disaster waiting to happen. This is going to be so unpleasant. Can you even imagine, Nier? You're going to be, like, sucked in currents of sand. Wait, they're not unlocked? So that means that any time the king, the royal, you know, the royals want to use them, they have to have people go all around the desert unlocking all of them. That's terrible. Well, what can you do? I know that we're already basically ready to leave, but I want to go unlock that sand well over on the other side of the chasm. And I think we can now, because, you know, Nier has that compass that for some reason lets him navigate the sandstorm. He doesn't have, say, a pair of goggles to keep the sand out of his eyes, but no plan is perfect. I always feel kind of bad about Kaine. You know, I feel like she just sort of tags along without any clear sense of direction. The more of these things that are gone, the better. That's my impression. Hey, careful, Kaine! That almost hit me! Oh, hey! 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 I know you're pretty good at blowing these things away, I gotta say. Hey, Wolf! Wolf, you want a piece, Wolf? You know how much I regret that? I don't. Not even one iota. 
and now the other wolves have already decomposed. Pretty spectacular, if I do say so myself. In fact, you'd think it'd take him much longer to decompose out this far. Oh, it's dangerous to be this near the cliff, but, uh, we won't slip off. I mean, Kaine, if we slip off, Kaine, you, you try to save us, right? That's not a yes. See, here we go. I bet you this goes somewhere. Does it go to where I want to go? No. What is this? Is this some ruin from the old world full of intrigue and mystery? Why, it's the very thing I wanted to get to. Wait a minute, this is just a normal well. How odd. What's the significance of this thing? I see that Kaine enjoys dancing all over it, but uh... Well... This well isn't what I had in mind. But am I sure that I can't unlock it somehow? Yeah, I mean, it's not a sand well. It's just a normal well. How curious. Well, at least we can admire this gorge. It goes down pretty deep. That river there. That river has been here for many generations, carving a path through the rocks until that canyon formed. Why, that river has been doing that since before the old civilization fell. Our civilization, that is. But not Nier's. Well, I mean, his is sort of a descendant of it, so... You know, we've come out this far. Might as well go find something like this, for example. And then, from here, we'll get back to the entrance of the desert and we'll be out of here. I'm not gonna lie, hearing those wolves yelp really startled me. Hey Kaine, were you the one who killed that one wolf? I mean, let's be honest, of course you were. Hey Kaine! I'd always appreciate some help here, Kaine. Get it off, get it off! I swear. I'm tempted to call them bloody wolves, but they clearly are quite bloody. I would think that near and kind of- oh, Whoa, whoa! Yeah, these wolves are not behaving in any kind of normal wolf, be normal wolf way other than being in a pack. I mean, wolves would never be attacking people like this, this relentlessly. It's so- It's very bizarre. Anyway, thank you for holding that wolf all- Earth, they just keep coming. Hey, listen. Listen, you bloody wolves. Quit it! These things just don't know when to give up, do they? Well, Kaine, I think we've probably succeeded in killing at least half of the entire wolf population of this desert. There's still more. They're so hard to hit. You know what? Kaine, I... Here we see a Kaine in her natural habitat. Kickboxing with wolves, her natural prey. I'll just leave you to that, Kaine. I'm gonna get out of here. This desert is a pretty sizable portion of the country. Well, that's desertification for ya. And Kaine just teleports over. She, she's too cool to get sucked through underground sand tunnels like the rest of us. Well, maybe there's some sort of, like, boat or something that carries them through the underground sand tunnels. Wait, hold on, we never find, found that guy's son! Yeah, wait a minute. We can't leave until we find that son. Guy's son. Vice.
Well, who even knows where he is, but I have a feeling he's somewhere on the other side of that sandstorm. It just strikes me as not the natural place to go, but if you're looking to be some kind of hero, well, yeah, that's where the wolves seem to be coming from. Oh, and there's a well we can open up. It sure beats having to cross this desert on foot and contend with lots of scorpions and wolves. All these giant arthropods. First spiders, now scorpions. You know, I believe I was born a Scorpio. If any of you care? You're the rat, I think. I think. I mean, if you're going by the, the Chinese Zodiac. Anyway, so that's that. Well, that's weird. There's another well right here. Do you really need to have so many? I mean, that's just like a minute's walk. Well, whatever. Nier's gonna unlock all of these so that all the commoners can use them. He's a real people's hero, overcoming old traditions in order to usher in a new glorious communist age. When people live in equality, and when people all do their share of the work, and get their share of the bread. When they're educated and literate and the world is guided by scientific rational principles. Except, of course, the Soviet Union didn't quite realize this ideal didn't quite re Are you their son? Hey. You the kid searching for fortune and glory? My dad sent you to take me back, didn't he? Yeah, and with good cause. This is a dangerous place. See? There's a scorpion attacking me right now. No! I'm not leaving! I just found a wolf's den. If I go right now, I could take them all out and be a hero. That's not happening. I can't be a man of the mask if I fear for my life. I shall slay these beasts for the sake of my homeland. Hey, wait. If he speaks the truth, I fear the boy is in grave danger. We'd better catch him before he reaches the den. It is my experience that youth is simply a synonym for stupidity. He just wants to protect his city. I think it's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really great. What? Weren't you the guardian of your village, Kaine? Yeah, but... Look, all I'm saying is... Don't talk to me. Is your mouth too full of sand to form out a crude response? Look, do you want to die? You think that guy crossed the, uh... Sandstorm to get here, probably. He can do it easily because of his mask, you know? We lost him. Let's go check out the wolves' den. What do you mean we lost him? I mean, the wolves' den must be around here somewhere. Certainly there are a lot of wolves here. So many wolves, I mean, I've never seen this many wolves all together. Kaina, are you enjoying murdering all these wolves? I can't exactly say I am, but, uh, I mean, it certainly is, an ex it certainly is a new life experience for me. And I've got to say that. What really sucks about them is they move so fast, it's hard to even have a chance to, uh, use magic on them. Man, I hope that guy isn't already dead. He might not be, but where's this wolf's den anyway? I mean, we must be near the place. Maybe we're gonna finally kill that shade, that wolf shade. Wouldn't that be something, kind of? Anyway, really, where is where where is this? Let's see. Wait a minute, I think we overshot it. No, wait, that place I'm thinking might be the wolf's den is actually where that fountain was. There were no wolves there, that couldn't be the den. Well, where could the den be if not there, though? It's hard to see anything for any great distance in this place. Oh, that wolf saw us, though. 
And now it's dead. Yeah, that's usually how things go when you attack near. It's not nearly as great as if they were, say, shades who were giving us more magic words, but... Maybe he really did go down here. I mean, I wouldn't think this is a den for a den of wolves, but... What a view. Anyway, it could be. I mean, I really have no idea. It, no, it couldn't be. There would have... There would have been wolves here, if that's what this were. Over here, you mangy curs. Your entire pack is history today. We're too late. Come on, we have to keep him from getting killed. So this was the wolves then, after all. I mean, I am rather surprised, I gotta say. Crazy, crazy man! You're you're all gonna be all kinds of dead by the time you're done with this. I mean, you think you could have taken out these wolves if we weren't here to you know kill all these wolves for you, basically? I'll tell you what, right? I'll t I'll tell you the answer right now. I mean, look, we, we can barely handle wolves. What chance does some random guy like you have, huh? Not much of one. Let me answer that question right now for you, right now. Kaine, you should do a better job actually fighting around this guy. The wolves are defeated. Damn kid could have been killed. Doesn't look like he even understands the danger he was in. That is youth, I suppose. <laughs> to some degree, I envy him. We're not gonna strip the spoils from their bodies? Oh, thank the gods. Do you know how much we worried about you, boy? Your son is a boy no longer. Though we urged him against it, he vanquished an entire den of wolves, nearly by his lonesome. An... an entire den? Yeah, I found him all by myself and everything. Now the town won't have to worry as much about... You worthless idiot! But... but... Did you honestly think to defeat an entire pack of wolves by yourself? I know these people did most of the work for you. But... They would have killed other people. They would have done no such thing because you could have come back here and warned us. Ugh. Still, you did try to do right. And for this I am proud. F Father! I will speak to the king's advisor. If he will have you, then I will give you my blessing. For you are to become a man of the mask. Truly, father. But you must never do such a foolish thing again. A true soldier knows when he is outmanned. He knows it is not shameful to seek the aid of his fellows. Father, I swear to you, someday I'm going to be as proud and wise as you are. And thanks to you as well, my friends. Here, this is for you. We didn't do much. Your son is still young and reckless, but he is the art of a warrior. Yes, he is my pride and joy. Here it It'd be nice if he used his head a little more, but he's still my pride and joy. Well, Blacksmith... Blacksmith, son. It's been an honor. Really, that guy was pretty tough. I mean, was it, is that... No, it's not... It's not her. Yeah, you're right, Nier. Anyway. Uh... Let's go. Yep. Let's, let's go. Out of the city. I don't really know how much else we have to do here, after all. Are you a shopkeeper? Hey. Yeah, he is. Good. You wouldn't happen to have... Yeah, antidotal weeds are exactly what I'm looking for. While I'm at it, I get some rice plant seedlings. Um, 
some melon seeds, and some gourd seeds. In fact, a lot of them. At this point, we have so much money. Why not? What are, you, are, you, are you looking at me, Kaine? She was. Well, I mean, she was looking at the camera, which is sort of like looking at me. I wonder what Kaine's deal is. Well, obviously, she has some kind of shade infection going on. Wait, does that mean that, that people can turn into shades? No, it couldn't be. Well, I mean, it could be. I really have no idea what shades are. I don't think any of these guys do, honestly. Well, once again, somebody must. They've been around so long. There must be some kind of understanding of them. How our crops are doing. They died? No, I'll, I'll let them be there a little longer. What do I do with this flower? I just, I just pick it? But why? What, what's the tulip for? Well, I guess this is what happens when you don't harvest them in time. I thought that maybe what could happen is that they, um... They might... How shall I put this? I figured that they might, uh... You know, produce more crop over time. But I see now how wrong I was. Fertilize, water... Well, when you... Oh, well, who was it? It was Bubs who taught you to plant corn with, in the ground with fish or something, because this'll grow you some nice fish corn bushes! Good old Bubs. Hey, you, you, I mean, Nier's, you know, Nier is, is a hard worker, hard worker. There's no denying that. It's really sort of astonishing to me just how hard and how long he works. We really should have bought some beans, though. Man does not live on melons and gourds alone. I remember when I was in elementary school, there was this certain girl who discovered I had been collecting gourds, and I did. I always wanted them to dry out instead of mold. Because, of course, if they mold, you can't keep them, but if they dry out, they last forever. I still have them. However, she ended up, you know, she would begin asking me, like, oh, hey, can I ask you about your gourd collection? Can I ask, you know, like, can I see your gourds? And I don't know what her understanding of it was, but I didn't like that because it seemed to me that it was some kind of, like, euphemism for testicles, and it made me quite uncomfortable. Probably qualifies as some kind of, like, sexual harassment. However, um, I... That was about the time that I realized that if you just completely ignore it when people do that kind of thing, they stop. And that's what I did. Anyway, later she moved away. I heard she might be a lesbian. I'm not sure. I think, feel like that's the last thing I heard about her. Well, that well, sure. I mean, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing this. So Bounty Fertilizer gives us a larger harvest, eh? The issue is, how is Nier going to preserve all of these crops he's growing? He doesn't have a refrigerator, they don't have anything like that. How is he going to keep them from just rotting? Well, I don't know. I think there's something beautiful about seeing a huge warrior like Nier just gently pour the water out of the palm of his hand like that. Hey. You alright, Yona? You're gonna help me study, right, Dad? Yeah, I am. Well, not today. But later on. Maybe near silence just means that he knows better than to make a promise he can't keep, huh? Earlier, he sounded a little halting when he said that, because after all, he was well aware that if he, say, promised her that he would help her study, that he might not really be able to keep that promise. But now, he's decided that, uh... Well, never mind. I, well, whatever. Let's go to the Forest of Myth. I don't know. 
I don't know, Forest of Myth. It's a very strange name for a forest to have. Like, what did it have to do to get a name like Forest of Myth? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? In a name like that. Oh, by the way, uh, Devola, are there any other jobs for me? I mean, I don't need any jobs right now. I really should just head to the Forest of Myth immediately. There are so many! Lighthouse Lady's Wrath, though. I've got another job from that seafront postman. Apparently some cranky old lady is giving him trouble. Alright. But while I'm here, though... Well, it's not a different job, but I'm just kind of curious. Are there any other jobs that are in seafront? Really? That's a very odd thing to ask of Nier, but sure, I'll take that job, too. Dang, I should have done that while I was just over there. Ah, well, next time I make a trip to Fossad, and I know there's a missing girl, I'll find the missing girl after I find this guy's missing son and beat some sense into him. This guy. Hey! Please, tell me right away if you find my little angel. Yeah, yeah, your little angel. Real angel, ain't he? Jeez, it's just, it's, I'm sort of astonished at how much Nier gets sidetracked. He's set up to be a big, tough action hero, but most of the time he does petty jobs and petty good deeds for people. But you see, it's those little good deeds that really, you know, that, that, that really make life, uh, you know, worth living. No. We're not gonna take out that shade. They just keep coming. We gotta take out the Grimoire Noir, their source. Wonder where it is. Could be anywhere. Could be above us. Maybe Kaine has it. Maybe Kaine is the Grimoire Noir and Nier will have to kill her and it'll be tragic. But that won't happen. That wouldn't make any sense at all. Nier wouldn't do that. No, Yona, not another new secret recipe. Th those two you had already nearly killed him. So first of all, we have to find the man with the... We have to find Little Red Cap. We gotta go talk to the postman. Hey. Where... Where's Little Red Cap? You know, if I were Little Red Cap trying to avoid trouble, I'd probably go out to sea. You seen him? I've about had it with that lighthouse lady. And the sad thing is, she'll probably outlive me. I guess she is pretty old. How old do you think she, is, she, thinks she is? I'd say maybe that three million years. Is a real pain. Yeah, we know. We've, we know her better than anyone else in this town, I bet you. Why isn't the postman offering a quest, though? Is there something back here? I mean, there's like a doorway over there. But why? Like, what's it a doorway to? Why is it here? I don't know, but we're gonna go find out now, aren't we? Oh. Well, here's what we'll do. Oh. Well, maybe we'll see what's on the other side of that door some other time. Probably just a bunch of post... Wait a minute. Does the fact that I... Hold on. Wait, well, yeah, we never got back to that guy, did we? But hold on. Why are some of these marked black and some of them marked white? Well, I don't know, but, um... Hold on. Why can't we talk to the postman and, and get the job? What What's happening? Is it because I told her that I wanted that job out in 
facade? Darn it! Darn it, darn it, darn it! This is terrible! Well, I'm not entirely confident that that guy we're looking for is even in this city. I would think that he split. Even though it's very dangerous to split, doesn't mean he wouldn't do it. Well, fine. At least we can go bring some stuff to that merchant. We have a little bit of what he was looking for. Even Nier can't make miracles work. You know, he doesn't work miracles overnight. How are things? So, think you can get it all. He doesn't even care unless we have all of it. It's all or nothing. What a man, huh? What a man. Hey, things could get worse. At least they're not desperate enough to sign on with one of those wacky cults. Oh, yeah. Those wacky cults. Um. Yeah. Guess the new guy is right that he's at least not one of those wacky cults, huh? Hmm. Hmm. What do you want? Look, this is serious work, not some kind of circus. So get lost. He's not much nicer than the lighthouse lady, but, uh, I am just kind of baffled here. I don't want to have to go all the way back to town and then all the way back here again just because I talked to Popola, not to Popola, to Devola. I got, they're very, they're quite different people. I mean, they have a lot in common, but they hello, who are you? Huh? Say, I hear you're looking for a runaway son. Yeah, there was some strange kid asking people questions earlier. I think he was trying to learn how to get into Facade. Facade, huh? Well, he's not getting away from me this time. Well, there's our new lead. And we have work in Fossad anyway. Two trips to Fossad in one week. I guess three trips, actually. There's probably going to be a lot fewer shades that are going to die on this particular trip, though. Actually, I'm curious. Am I mar noticeably stronger than I was the last time I tried to fight this thing? I might be. I very well might be. Well, I mean, I keep saying the last time I fight this thing as if it's the same one every time. When, of course, it's not. I can probably, um... You know, I probably can use more magic words than this point, can I? Yeah, maybe I should try. In fact, even this weapon is beginning to do some kind of noticeable damage to it. I mean, this is stronger than Kaine's swords at this point. That was close. Anyway, hold on here. Hold on just a sec. I should actually look at the words. We're always getting new of these things. So many that it's kind of difficult to keep track of. I know you might think, well, hey, why don't you, say, move up uh, to, you know, be using other kind of magic. As far as I'm concerned, this hand attack is so good, why would I ever use anything different? Really? I never gave any magic to this? And I've been using it that Oh, I guess it's because it got forged, didn't it? Well, that's my bad. I feel kind of ridiculous, though. I went all this time and never used it for anything. I'll go with poison. Well, now Kaine is temporarily out of commission. And it certainly is temporary, though. You guys see how quickly she bounces back from this kind of thing. Pretty quickly. I would never be so bold as to dive in right for this thing like I just did there normally. But right now, I totally am. I'm sorry that you keep getting hurt by it, Kaine, but I know that you love fighting shades. And her life was directionless before she found it. Or it wasn't directionless. She was going to kill that shade, but then she killed it. So now who knows what's going on with her. She's just doing whatever till, I guess, searching for meaning like everybody else. I should let the magic meter replenish all the way, shouldn't I? That, that, this big shade. 
They just, I mean, they really do keep on coming. Like, things are really getting bad at this point. There's so many of them around. You know what that was, Kaine? That was justice. Shades have no place this near town. Not near near city, anyway. He definitely is his local guardian, and I guess Kaine really probably is from wherever she's from. I mean, she is tough as nails. No. Oh. I wonder if Yona's gonna have a suitor soon. She is pretty, and she's at about that age, I think. And, you know, she's nice. I mean, I want to be clear, I'm not, I don't judge only by looks here, okay? Am I really going all the way back to Fossad? Yeah, of course. Of course I am. We'll make this mission, like, we'll, we'll go find Little Red Cap, then we'll come all the way back here, then we'll go to the, to that, you know, Forest of Myth and see what weird dream antics are going on there. I'm sure that when we get there, it'll turn out that it'll, it'll be like something out of Village of the Damned. Oh, it's you. Yo. Your delivery is complete. Thanks. Here's what I owe you. Always a pleasure. Not really. Yeah, Nier doesn't need to do any of this stuff anymore. He is rolling in dough at this point. Kaine, have you ever been rich before? You know what it's like to be rich? It's something. This is so exhilarating. I haven't even bought that new weapon yet, you know? She sure loves killing things. Not that I entirely blame her. The things around here all seem to be interested in killing humans. No wonder not many people travel. It is really dangerous. I'm amazed Little Red Cap even got here. I would have thought that big bad wolf would have eaten him up by now, and Nier would have to be the woodsman, and, you know, they'd chop the wolf's belly open while it's asleep, but somehow not wake it. Just like in the story of Little Red Cap. Um. Yeah, this way. I really have no idea where this guy. Oh, you guys need something? Yeah. A man moved into that house the other day. Certainly wears a very strange hat. Shockingly enough, he fits in perfectly. He even speaks our language and knows most of the rules. Really? Yeah. Here the new outsider came here after fleeing a terrible home life. Aha! So he's disguised himself as one of the masked people. No wonder we lost his train. He's gone through a hell of a lot of trouble trying to lose us. Can't wait to finally catch him. So he moved into a house around here. Did he? Well, I mean, I don't know if he already knows their language. I mean, wow. He's probably been studying this place for a long time if he's already at that level. You seen him? No, you're still trying to catch that lizard. I understand. Hello. Hey, weapon, weapon man. Wait, hold on. No, it even ups our magic power. This is so good. I mean, truthfully, I, I think I'm gonna miss. I think I'm gonna miss my, um, you know, rebirth. I, I think I am. I was wrong. Moonrise is a different weapon. But, uh... I'll take it. Wow, look at this thing! It's like I could kill you in one swing. Anyway, I forgot where that job that in Fossad was. Where was that job? Well, I mean, the issue is this city is so huge it could be anywhere. Well, let's begin looking. You know, running around this city more or less aimlessly is hardly an alien task for for near now, isn't it? Hold on. You wouldn't happen to be Little Red Cap, would you? Ew. Pardon me. 
Do you have a moment? What do you need? My daughter's been missing for a few days, and I was wondering if you heard anything. Can't say I did. Sorry. Oh. But if something comes up, I'll be sure to let you know. Does the girl have any identifying marks or scars? Hmm. Well, she's probably wearing her gold ring. It's a family heirloom that I gave her a little while back, so I doubt she'd take it off. Thank you very much. I have a bad feeling. With all these wolves around. Oh, but yeah, you're the weird, the, the strange thing shop. Hey, you want to do a poor schlub a favor? Wow, you sound pretty low there. I've been cheating on my wife, and she found out. Then she kicked me out of the house. I hope you don't want sympathy from us. No, no, I know I've been a selfish idiot. I just want her to take me back, so I was hoping to give her a present. I want to make her a coat from wolf hides, but I don't know where to find them. So you want us to hunt some wolves for you? That's the idea. Can I count on you? Yeah, this is the job that we were sent here for. I don't know why I'm helping you, but all right. Family's important. Thank you. I just need ten wolf hides. Do we have any wolf hides? Well, probably. I mean, in all likelihood. Yeah, we only have two. Well, that's fine. There are plenty of wolf... Oh, are you Red Cap? Hmm? So the girl's gone missing, has she? Hmm. Last time I saw her, she was hanging around with her boyfriend. Who is he? Mm -hmm. You're not going to tell me. Um. Well, I hear here she was with your boy, her boyfriend. Well, as for who the boyfriend is, it's beyond me. It's beyond me. Because I don't know him. I, like, I don't know them at all. They're complete strangers to me. So that's why it's beyond me. Not because it's super complex. It's probably a rather typical human relationship. We're being honest here. Well, I found even more work than I bargained for. But I did not find... What I did not find is Little Red Cap. And how are we going to find him? I mean, look at all these people. And they're all wearing masks. I bet you, though, he'd still be wearing his Red Cap. It's just a hunch I have. So where are those women who are talking about him? Or well, they might be men. Oh wait, this he this is his house. Hmm. Hey you, you're coming with me. Ah oh, man, why you gotta be all like follow me and stuff? Fine. Let me just pack and then I'll Oh my gosh, there's a giant shade behind you! Oh, are you kidding me? He has doubtless fled the city, though he could not have gone much farther than that. I believe that vice just misused further. You see, further is used for metaphorical things, like you're further into debt, or non-concrete things, I should say. Whereas farther is used for distances. See? Sometimes I know a little bit more than a magical ancient book. Of course, he might be from an era when the rules of English had... Well, no, he couldn't be. Because the world ended in, like, the 2040s. The rules of English won't have changed that much by 2040. For, for um, historical purposes, I'm making this recording in 2017. Ah, man, again? All right, fine. Let me just... He's heading for the Eastern Road. We must catch him before he leaves the desert. Does he really think she'll forgive him if he just gives her a fur? He does seem somewhat materialistic. Are you guys for real? When someone gives me something for free, I'm happy as a pig in shit. This world would be a great deal simpler if nothing but kindness and community. I'll pretend that's We've already caught this guy. 
Oh my gosh, there's a huge bag of shades right... Shut up. Hey. Hey, look, you're not, a, you're not a fast runner at all. You think you can escape us? Are you crazy? You're gonna be mauled by wolves out here, you maniac. Frankly, I almost wonder if we should just let him, you know, feel kind of silly way of running there in here. I think this whole situation is pretty silly. Yeah, uh, what's that big thing on the right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, and I shall smite you with unholy magic. Oh, come on. You're not going to give up yet. You really think you can escape near? Look at him. The man's like an Olympic sprinter. You're just some hippie. Now, look, with all, with all honesty, okay, your father's a little doting, a little weird, and I have a feeling I can imagine the kind of uncomfortable, awkward dynamic that you have at your home. You know, he bosses you around, or he has expectations of you that, you, that aren't what you how you want to live. And that's fine, but you should communicate that to him. You shouldn't just try running away like this, kid. It's a pack of wolves! Maybe if I cut out your tongue, you won't be so... Oh, crap. It is a pack of wolves. Oh! There they are! They're coming from the opposite direction I have, you know, come to expect. Oh, we happen to be out wolf hunting anyway. Oh, Kaine finishes that guy off. Was... Oh, or not. I didn't think I'd actually run into wolves for real. Are you ready to go home yet? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. This adventure stuff's like way too scary for me. I'm gonna stick close to home and stuff. Good. And let's go tell the family. Well, um, I'll see you in a while. In the meantime, I'm gonna go out here hunt some wolves for a while. You know, I agree with you, Kaine. I like it whenever I get any free stuff. I'm not quite sure I'd say I'm happier than a pig in shit, because, you know, pigs are... They wallow in mud, I mean... Okay, in all fairness, the kind of mud they're in is often also full of poop, but, uh, you know. Hey, wait, couldn't we just go buy a bunch of wolf hides in the city? Okay, yeah, you know, maybe we should just do that. It'd probably be faster. And we're rich at this point anyway. Uh, not the Nameless Blade, the, uh... The Beast Bane. What magic words can we affix to this be beauty, huh? Well, paha. So it will become the paha. Um, yeah, the paha ma beast babe. No, I don't want to go fight wolves. We really should just go buy some wolf pelts and bring him back to that guy. Yeah, here we go. How many do we need? Eight. I think we needed eight. Never mind, we're not buying wolf hides. Forget that I said that, okay? Sorry that I even brought that up. I shouldn't have brought that up. My, you have my apologies. That was a ridiculous idea. What was I even thinking? Well, I can get, I can get more money for that elsewhere. Yeah, you know, you know what I think we should do? You sell a bunch of these. We can get a lot of money for these, because there are so many of them. Not because they're really worth much on their own. Okay, so I don't really have as much money anymore, because I bought this sword. I still think it was a good investment. I defend my choice. But while we're here, we might as well look around more for this girl and her boyfriend. The issue is, it's hard to find people when their faces are covered up. Like, how do they tell each other apart? I mean, a lot of people are wearing the same mask. If everybody had their own completely individual mask, I could imagine how you might tell them apart. Oh, of course, the gossips. The missing girl? Yes, I saw her on the lowest level of our city just yesterday. Yeah, these guys always gossiping. Wait, lowest level. So that means that my Coruscant theory is probably not correct. Uh-oh. It looks like the missing girl was here with her boyfriend. 
I say, are these blood stains? Yeah, and it looks like someone was trying to clean them up. These can be no older than a few days at most. I fear that the missing girl may somehow figure into this yet. Well, she was last seen with her boyfriend. Maybe we should ask him a few questions. At best, he knows something. And at worst. Well, where might he be? Hey, you. You know where his boyfriend was? Hmm? The missing girl? No, sorry, I don't know. Why not ask your boyfriend? I think he's standing watch at the town entrance. Thanks. I know that Nier would thank him. He's the kind of guy who would. Then again, he's also the kind of guy who would often not. It's hard to say. Oh wait, here's the ferryman. Or... Kind of. I don't actually think he's a ferryman. I think there's a guy who is going around on a, on a ferry anyway. Because yeah, you can still see the guy I'm calling the ferryman is still there. He's still back there, see? He probably just, you know, whistles or shoots some kind of flare into the air that notifies the, um, uh, person controlling the ferry that there's someone who wants to stop there. Or Nier just waits there until he, you know, stops. So you're a boyfriend, huh? Hey, aren't you that guy I sent a message to earlier? Huh. Just goes to show you think you know a guy. G g yes Who are you? Your girlfriend is missing. Don't suppose you know anything about that, do you? You were the last one to see her before she vanished, right? I... I don't know what you're talking about. You're a lover, right? Aren't you worried about her? Well, yes! Yes, of course I am. What business is it of yours, outsider? Foul creature. We found bloodstains in the very area where the two of you were last seen. You can hide nothing from Grimoire Vice. Confess, O oh guilty one. Confess and unburden your soul. Confess, lest others who are not as forgiving as I discover your terrible secret. No! It... She... It was an accident. We were arguing over something stupid, and she pushed me, so I pushed her back. And then she must have slipped or something, because she fell and hit her head on the wall. Oh, gods, I didn't mean to hurt her. I loved her. Accident or not, what you did is a crime, and the family won't appreciate you trying to cover it up. I knew I'd get caught. I knew I couldn't hide it forever. I didn't know what to do, so I put the body in a sand spout well just outside the city. That's all I can tell you. I'm so sorry. We're going to check on the sand spout well. You stay put, understand? This must be the sense about well. This is hardly the most pleasant task you've ever assigned us up for. I don't see a body. How peculiar. Do you think the young lad lied to us? He confessed to a murder, right? Why would he lie about the body? I guess we should go tell the family. There is no body to be found. What's going on here? We must have been carried off by the waters, or the wolves. Makes sense, I suppose. Or perhaps the man was mistaken. That's what I'm hoping. It turns out she wasn't dead, and she wakes up there and she's confused. Well, that was a little tragedy. But these sorts of things happen a lot more often than you might suspect. And here, there's no need to unsheath your sword like that stepping into the town. Actually, come to think of it, what makes that noise as he unsheaths it? It's not in a sheath.
Oh, hello! My daughter's back! Listen, your daughter is... Wait, she's what? My apologies for bothering you. But your boyfriend told us you were... By the gods! You're alive! But how? What's going on? You're all acting like I died or something. Yes, you're acting terribly strange. But... but back there! The well! Whatever! I don't understand a single goddamn thing that's happening right now. Could the man possibly have been deluding himself this entire time? Well, our daughter is back with us, so all's well that ends well as far as I'm concerned. Quite so. Here's a token of our gratitude for helping with the search. So, what did happen? Yeah. Huh? Eh? Hey, hey. Ah, what a relief to see her safe and sound. Well, situations having confusing and unclear resolutions are also very common in real life. And these things are still happening, 1200 years in the future. Hey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you better thank me. You better thank me with money. The issue is, there's no way he could just give me more than their market value. Because if he could, then he wouldn't need me to go get them. He could just buy them. But actually, I am going to see if I can afford them. I mean, with that money we just got. You might say, well, this goes against Nier's big, I don't know, hunter modus operandi. It goes against his dignity as a fierce and masculine hunter. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, now let's see. So each one is... No, I can't afford them. They are 5,000. I thought they might have been 1,000. Yeah, I, I can't afford a 5,000. No. Let's go wolf hunting, and then let's go to the forest of myth. I mean, let's be honest here. I'm not going to get all these wolf hides in one go. It'll take a while. Those wolves really gather around the Baron Temple. They must just love following rules. They certainly like following the leader, who's a shade. Hey, wolves! Wolfy, 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 wolf! Come and get me! Wolves! It's typical. They're never there when you're looking for them. So let's do something where we don't want them to show up. Then they will. Come on, here's an ear with his bottom in the air. Don't you wolves want to taste? No? No, they don't. You know, neither Nier nor Kaine are remotely dressed for this climate. Even if it isn't, you know, cold here like it probably is. Maybe there are still wolves in this den. Probably not, but maybe. I could imagine it happening. You can't get in yet? What the heck does that mean? It was open earlier. What do you mean, yet? It's weird. Can we find wolves? God, where the heck are the wolves? I know I should be rejoicing if they're gone, because it means that travel can resume, but I can't believe they're gone. There's still that giant shadowy black wolf that's a shade. 
so... Where in the heck are they? Last time we were out here, there were so many wolves that they just wouldn't stop coming. Now, I don't see a single wolf. Well, I know I said we were going to go hunt some wolves, but uh, I guess we're not. Oh yeah, that, that family. The sun is back. I guess that near-death experience is what convinced them to finally stop being a vagrant. But I don't know, maybe that's not a good thing. I always feel bad quashing people's wandering spirit, you know? Vagrant, 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 where are you, boy? What the? Oh, they're inside their house. Makes enough sense. Nobody's here. I believe they left us a note. Thanks to your help, our little angel has returned to take up the family business. We have decided to move to a new land to begin anew and thoroughly train him to carry on the family name. Well, it's good to see them taking an interest in... Hey! They didn't pay me! Hey! Are you friends with the people who lived here? No. Why? Because the goddamn bastards borrowed money from everyone in the village and skipped town. Apparently their son ran away because he wanted to escape a life of crime, but then some idiot brought him back. This has been the worst job ever. Perhaps we should just tally this up as an expensive life lesson and move on. Nier, you have to learn to stop taking everything at face value.